Okay. Okay, so what you need to do with the uh, polishing lathe is turn, it, turn the extractor on. There's a switch on the back of the lathe which operates the um, electricity. Have it on a low speed for pumicing. Would somebody pass me some water, a bowl of water? Okay, pumice is under the, under the cupboard. It should be a pumice which is treated so it doesn't harbour bacteria. Just be aware of that when you're working in the laboratory. This is nice and wet, and it's to, so that it forms a slurry. Okay. That was disgusting. And then, just ensure you have a, a good coating of pumice at all times on your denture, okay, and then you're moving the denture about, keep the denture moving about, don't hold the denture in one place because you'll burn the denture, okay, you want a nice smooth matte finish, you'll, you'll achieve a smooth, nice smooth matte finish with this. Look at what I'm doing, just keeping pumice on there. Plenty of pumice. Okay, be careful not to pumice the teeth because the teeth, when they come from the factory, are of a reasonable, high, highly polished finish and they are finished. Um, quite suitable for being positioned on the denture and being sent out to the patient without any further polishing. So try and keep your pumice away from it, the uh, surface of the teeth. Obviously you will encroach on the teeth when, you, when you're polishing your denture base. Some of these, some aspect of this will need further rubber wheeling last year. So you need to make sure that you, before you move on to the next process, that you've done all you can on the process that you're working at. So for example, for when, when, when you're rubber wheeling, you need to get as smooth as you can with the rubber wheel, with your, with your rubber barrel, before you move on to pumicing. Otherwise, you're not going to get a good finish. Keeping the denture moving. Okay, I'm starting to achieve a nice finish there now. Keeping the pumice on there. Keep scooping the pumice on. Now for your for the shine for the final polish, have to use the mop, have it on a high speed, um, use some polishing compound. Be careful, you, you, your denture doesn't get caught in the mop, and it will um, be thrown backwards, and, and there's a risk of it being smashed. Again, random movements, 
Okay, try and keep the denture moving and not hold the denture in one place because again that knot will burn, friction will cause the, the denture to burn and we don't want that. Palatal aspect, similar to your to the labial flange. Um, we want to turn that speed down. Okay. You, there are palette brushes available, but to be honest, I've never found they, they work that well for me. And um, the the the, um, the round brush is perfectly adequate for getting into your palette palatal area. Okay, that I think will that will, will require a little bit more rubber in. You've got some um, fur marks in there that are quite deep, which you won't get out with pumicing. Okay, 